I've been talking to the American government since uh, 7.40 this morning, so there is no need for greeting, all right? There is no need for greeting. I've been talking to the American government since, since 7.40 this morning. I just came out of the, uh, the front there and talked to their uh, bureau desk clerk and said to him, I was sexually assaulted from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m., got up, made a statement, and then from 4 a.m. to 7.40, they came back into the tent on 3rd and Morrison, sexually assaulted, left me erected, left my scrotum in pain, and gave me shots in my heel. Why am I living like this on this American continent? Why am I being raped in my tent? Tell me this. Why am I living like this? Why am I living a raped life? Isn't rape a crime? Why? Why am I preaching the gospel coming from this and then the payment is you need to go suck some cock? That's the payment? for the church? I thought the workers were worthy of his wages, John MacArthur. You've settled it that cocksucking is now the payment for the church? Or is it just for this Haitian preacher? I don't read that in the Bible. Your constitution doesn't cover employment. Your constitution doesn't cover rape. Your constitution barely covers slavery. 13th Amendment. But it doesn't mean that 13th Amendment set the slaves free. If I'm still being raped, and I'm still being treated as a slave. Why am I being treated as a slave? Why am I being raped? Why is your snake community or your satanic community so disrespectful, hitting my tent, hitting my table in the tent, coming in and eating my food, leaving me a pile of caca for me to clean and to flush. Well, what is that? What kind of people are these? Constantly threatening. I don't understand, satanic community. What have I done to you? Your issue is with God. Your issue is with God, not with me. God's issue is with you. But you seem to want to put the church in between. What is the issue here? Yesterday, I went over to the Pioneer Square Park and preached a message of unbelief coming from Mark chapter 6 verses 1 through 6. In the book, Jesus marveled at their unbelief. Are you telling me that you are now a government who has faith? Are you telling me that you are a government who believes? Are you telling me you're a government who really truly believes in God we trust? Then why do you have guns and bombs, pepper spray and handcuffs if you're trusting in God? In God we trust. Then why is your Haitians raping me at night? Why are they going into my tent? Taking half of my coffee and pouring water in it? And the rest of it? Taking half of my drinks? Removing ice? I mean, what kiddish, childish behavior is this? What kind of nonsense is this? that you have Gabriel Franklin up to? What kind of ridiculous life have you given this Haitian woman? She's a sex offender, and yet you will not arrest her and put her in prison. You sit there and you watch her commit the crime day after day, day after day, hour after hour, playing with my genital. How disrespectful. Your, your prince, king, sending a homosexual, going by the name of Steve, 
to interrupt me while I'm preaching the gospel. What was that for? And this man looks exactly like Jonathan Zabel, a former CSUN student who used to be a roommate. What, what is this? Am I dealing with Grace Community Church College Live students again? Now through third person representatives? Am I dealing with Grace Community Church again? Master Seminary students? Why? You didn't want a relationship with me. You didn't want me on your property marrying white women, assuming the position of a pastorate over your skin, your hair, and your eyes. You wanted me back on my island. Right? Marrying my own women. Having sex with the men from my own community. It's all about my own. Isn't it? It's not what this is all about, MacArthur. It's not about the Holy Bible. It's about the division between the nations. Wait a minute, I thought that was settled on this verse here. What's that passage of the Bible? What does it say here? In 2 Corinthians, do not be bound together with unbelievers. People who have unbelief as an issue. Do not be bound together with unbelievers. Wait, is it possible that on Monday morning, the American government is being dealt with an unbelief? Unbelievers. What is wrong with unbelievers? What does it say? What partnership has righteousness and lawlessness? Unbelievers are lawless people? What fellowship has light with darkness? Unbelievers are lawless and represent darkness? Or what harmony has Christ with Belial? So unbelievers are lawless. They come from the darkness and they represent Belial? Or what has a believer in common with an unbeliever? Does the believer have rape in common with each other? American government? American Police Department, do we as Christians have rape in common? Or do we have slavery in common? What do we have in common that keeps us together? Earlier this morning, I showed the people who are in the area that I was at the naturalization certificate. The naturalization certificate gives foreigners permission to live in this country. This is the certificate that you give to us indicating that we have your permission to live here, to work here, right? In these towers, in these buildings, right? To use the constitution. We have the right to be protected by the law according to what? The 14th amendment. We don't have to worry about slavery according to the 13th amendment. We have the freedom of speech and of press and of religion according to the First Amendment. We have the right to bear arms according to the Fifth Amendment. Or is it Fifth Amendment? I don't remember which it is. Second. Second Amendment. Right? We have all this permission, but yet you take away the gun. But yet you remove me out of housing. But yet you will allow them to treat me like a slave. But yet. You take away my work that's in the Library of Congress, you removed an entire page. How many works was on that page? Two, three works, right? I just crossed over to one more than 120, 123. Now what is it, 125, 126, and you've already taken away the page? I don't understand. What, what, I, I thought I had the freedom that you have. I thought I was your equal. So once upon a time, I was your equal in the building, right? The housing, what, what, what goes on in your buildings? Housing, what else? Education, what else goes on in your building? Housing, education, work. But for whatever reason, you decide to remove me out of housing. Gretchen Kafori comments. You decide to remove me out of work, right? Labor ready. I can't go any further than labor ready anymore. You remove me out of the church, Grace Community. 
You remove me out of education, the master's seminary, and you won't give it back. And you won't give it back. What is it that I have in common with you, unbeliever? Rape and slavery? What is, what is it that I have in common with you in the building? All those things that I just named. And outside of the building is what? The raping? The raping and the slavery outside of the building. Right? What do we have in common, unbeliever? Besides this naturalization certificate, unbeliever, what do we have in common? You no longer want me in the tower. You no longer want me in the education system. You no longer want me living in the same apartment complexes as you, graduating with the same certificates as you, collecting paycheck like you. You don't want me, what, using uniforms like you? So what do we have in common, American government? How's it going? Right? What do we have in common? What do we have in common? You don't have a naturalization certificate. You have a birth certificate. Right? Your skin, your hair, and your eyes makes you equal to each other. Right? One white man to another white man. Right? In the building, in the sex store, in the military, in the police department, in Congress, we're all European brothers. We're all European sisters. Right? You don't need a religious book. You don't need a naturalization certificate. All you've got is your skin, hair, and eyes. Right, cousin? Cousin Charles III? Right, cousin helping cousin? Clan helping clan? Settler helping settler? Sinner helping sinner? The disciples of Satan helping the disciples of Satan. The children of wrath helping the children of wrath. The government who took over America and the government that established America. The government that took over America is Britain. The government that established America is your U.S. Congress and presidency. Your cousins helping each other. Helping each other in the church. Helping each other in the world. But it says here, do not be bound together with unbelievers. Huh? Am I the unbeliever? Because I don't believe you're angels. Am I the unbeliever? Because I don't believe you're somehow connected a little bit closer than the Hebrew. You're a little bit closer than the Jew to God.